Okay, DIY project number nine. Let's take a look here. We've got a bunch of knobs, switches, buttons. We've got a quarter inch jack there, AC, an eighth inch jack and an LED there. Um, by the way, this box came from a hardware store. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be because it had a rubber seal here, but there's no like way for it to interface with anything. So I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but it worked good for a drone box. So first things first, you also notice the micro brutes here. We're going to talk about that in a second, but first things first, let's go ahead and plug it in to our tiny tweed. Let's plug in the power. All right, we'll turn the tweed on. And here's our power switch, and we get sound. And as I turn this, the pitch changes. So what we have in here is we have Synthrotex 4093 kit and 2399 kit um, wired together to make a kind of a clever little drone box. So these are the oscillators, and this is the main volume. This is our wet dry to the delay. This is our rate and feedback to the delay. These switches engage or disengage the second oscillators. This of course is power. And then we have blast and warp right over here. So let's take a look at what this does. Now let's bring in the delay. So that's kind of what it does. But now, you notice there's a jack here that we haven't messed with, and I said that we were gonna talk about uh, the micro brute here. So, this is a CV jack. So I have plugged in over here, I've got a cable plugged into the micro brute's LFO. Let's go ahead and plug it into the CV jack, and let's see what happens. So you can see when the micro boot brutes LFO goes high, we get sound. So it's a SAG power input. Now let's speed up the LFO on the micro brute. And we can really get more from drone into rhythm here. So now if we slow down the rate, kick up the feedback, something interesting. So that's project number nine.